Good morning, Bears. Welcome to this week's edition of the WBBN News. I'm Jake. And I'm JC. We have a lot going on, so please listen up to the following announcements. Social and emotional support groups will be held on Mondays from 345 to 445 in the Guidance Office. Space is limited, so if you'd like to participate, stop by Miss White's office in Guidance during lunch to sign up and get a permission slip. Math tutoring will be held after school on Mondays and Tuesdays from 345 to 515 p.m. in room 755. Please contact Ms. Anderson with any questions at anderson.jacklin at bavarschool.org. There will be additional math tutoring after school on Wednesdays from 3.45 to 4.45 p.m. in room 651. Please contact Mr. Reed with any questions at reed.nick at brevardschools.org. Students, it's not too late to purchase a yearbook. They are on sale now at yearbookforever.com for $80. Or you can stop by room 642 before or after school to purchase one. They will only be sold until March 30th. Reserve your copy today. On Saturday, January 22nd, our Winter Guard team attended at the FFCC competition. The group represented Bayside with their performance of Vanished, the last flight of Amelia Earhart. There were 11 groups in their division. The team won third place. This is the highest score Bayside's Color Guard has ever received. We'd like to congratulate the team and wish them continued success throughout the remainder of their winter season. We'll be right back after this. Today's Student Athlete Spotlight focuses on one of Bayside's varsity cheerleaders. Junior Brianna Bianco can be seen supporting our school's athletes on the sidelines and on the court. Brianna Bianco started her cheerleading career at age 10. She participated in recreational cheerleading at the Bayside Bears Youth League. Brianna would eventually move on to cheer at Southwest starting in 7th grade. Her 8th grade year, Brianna showed her leadership skills and earned her position as team captain. In an effort to keep in shape during the offseason, she joined the Extreme All-Stars. The team went on to win first place at the Finale Cheer and Dance Competition. Before her freshman year began, Brianna was selected as a 2019 UCA All-American Cheerleader. She was once again nominated for this award in 2021. During her first year at Bayside, Brianna was a member of the JV Cheer Team. She was the main flyer that season. She also helped lead the team that year as co-captain. She showed her excellence through her freshman season and was quickly promoted to varsity her sophomore season. Brianna proved her dedication and skills. At the end of the season, she was awarded Best All-Around Flyer, Best All-Around Sophomore, and Most Dedicated. Now, in her junior season, Brianna continues to show excellence in cheerleading. This year, she serves as the junior captain of the team. Being a part of the cheer team for the last three years has allowed Brianna to make many memories. My favorite memory was going to UCA cheer camp with my team and getting awarded the most spirited team out of the whole camp. Brianna is also a hard worker when it comes to school. She has been able to maintain a 3.5 GPA through her three years at Bayside. She is also attending Eastern Florida State College as a dual enrollment student. Brianna plans on earning her AA degree when she graduates and wants to transfer to UCF to pursue a career in architecture. Brianna, we are so proud of all you've accomplished as a student and a cheerleader. We wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. This has been Chase, reporting from the WBBN News. Today's College Spotlight is a great location if you don't want to travel far from home. The University of Northern Florida is a public state school located in Jacksonville. UNF is home to more than 17,000 students that all enjoy their time getting ready for the real world. The University of Northern Florida offers 17 Division I sports that both male and female students can choose from. Some of their most popular sports are basketball and baseball for men, while there is also soccer and volleyball for women. UNF offers 120 different majors and programs for both graduate and undergraduate students. Some of those offered majors are health, human service, sciences, business, engineering, and education. However, their doctorates could be obtained in education and in health. The University of Northern Florida is ranked in the top 150 for top public schools in the country. Even if you don't want to study on campus, there's always the opportunity to study abroad, with different countries such as Australia, Spain, France, and even Greece. UNF is the top 20th for study abroad programs, allowing students plenty of different options. So, how do you become a North Florida Osprey? Incoming freshmen are required to have a minimum of a 2.5 GPA, additionally an average of an 1175 on the SAT or a 24 on the ACT is required for admissions. The cost to attend UNF is $12,700 that includes tuition, room and board, and books. If this sounds like the school for you, log on to unf.edu for more information. And we're back. The guidance office will be open on Tuesdays and Thursdays after school from 4 to 5 p.m. for student support. Students are free to stop by without an appointment to check their GPA and credits. 
They can also get help with signing up for the SAT, ACT, or apply for financial aid. There will be a limited number of computers available for student use. Please see Ms. Flesher with any questions. Bayside will be holding a carnival-themed Valentine's Day dance on February 12th. Tickets will go on sale at lunch starting January 31st. The cost is $25 per student. Any student with an active IEP that needs help passing one or more classes, please contact Ms. Chamberlain in room 602 or email her at chamberlain.cheryl at brevardschools.org. Tutoring can be done after school, in person, or via Zoom in the evenings. The Hope Ambassadors Club is partnering with the American Legion Post 394 for Project Vet Relief. The club will be collecting personal care and non-perishable food items. A full list of items will be on the collection box located by the downstairs elevator door of the 600 building. The vet relief event will take place February 5th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the American Legion on Colgan. That wraps up this week's edition of the WBBN News. Make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Bayside WBBN. Have a great weekend, Bears.